After you finish all the decorations, you can turn to the render. And here you can generally have three different output. First back view, that's the normal pictures, the fixed pictures. And also you can directly use this kind of uh, uh, output, for example, the 360 word through, that's the panorama, known as panorama. You can see in the different views. Yeah, that's free angle, uh, but it's fixed position. You need to put in the correct position to view the entire area, including the going up and the down, the pitch angles. And of course, you can have the videos to roam in the area to have the MP4 file. So uh, from the very beginning, let's take a look at the perspective view, the fixed angle. And here, for the basic settings, you can have the aspect ratio. Okay, that's for the different resolutions and the different ratios. For example, this is wider, 16 to 9. Yeah, and also the resolution, you can select from 1K to 8K. Normally for the business using, the 4K is enough. And then you can also uh, select a proper angle. So continually, here we got the um, ambient lights. That's from the format. You can use the realistic. And also it includes the effect setting. If you want, you can just select them all because it will enhance some of the uh, ambience and also the lights. And the brightness here, if you have that result that is not so satisfying, like a lack of the light or overexposure, you can change accordingly. Maybe each time you can change 10% or uh, 20%, yeah, higher or lower. And then you can see here we have the environment that's changing the outside ambience. Just uh, change accordingly, then it's fine. Then you can take a picture of the generate. And also, if you don't know how to select the angle, you can see on the uh, right side, on the downward, you can have the user view and the smart view. Um, moving by WASD and Q and E, that will have different uh, angles. And also the FOV, uh, controlling the, 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 the degrees of the viewing, normally standard, don't get too wide. And also for the clipping function, it means to avoid some front view disturbing. You can see here, now I just using the clipping and I hide away the chair. And now with one click, you can have the basic uh, output and you can use the smart view okay the smart views you can just click for the preset they are all settled you can directly click and generate or change it accordingly for example too wide just narrow it and then click proper function click generate okay and then you can have on the upper side gallery we can have this uh in queue that the task in queue and also you can turn to for example the panorama. Now in panorama, I suggest we use 2D to put the lens, the camera, in the walking path or the the, the path, the route that they, we daily use because this is the better view to simulate a proper viewing for the clients that they might feel vivid looking and roaming inside, inside their future home. And also you can use the angle for changing WASD for the different position, but I suggest you check in 2D because once you see here, such kind of angle, it really contains a proper view for the entire area, but you already waste quite a lot of angle, almost uh, one, uh, three quarter okay, of the uh, area is, is wasted because you can only see for the uh, the, the wall decors or the wall size. So my expression still you need to put on the root. okay And after clicking for the for selection and you have different uh, and different the panoramas and also just pay attention about the format in ambient lights. If you want you can also select the auto update so update to the latest version it will be the best and then also you can just check for the different uh, um, light format 
if you really want to enhance that, you can also you can also manually to update or to do the modification. But it's downward in custom lights. Okay. Uh, in custom light lights, you can have this now latest function called the real time rendering. You can add up the add up with the template, and the system automatic will automatically gives you the result. But what you need to do is just to control those light uh, resource and the light effect. So just wait a moment for the updating. So you can see there are so many different light IES. Some of them are preset according to your models, your uh, pre preparing of the decors, and you can use the IES to do the decoration, to do the modification for the entire lights. So, that, but it, here, of course, it will have contain quite a lot of work to refine them, but the basic function, you can just know that we can control the light as well. And also we can control the material to change the material uh, temporarily yeah this is the last chance before you go to render to do the mod to modification uh, to your preferred product or the productions using this kind of a way okay and then you you can directly use the render here as well the same for the uh, perspective perspective views and then you can turn it back for example now you can see we already finished some of the angles you can take a view more and then click yeah and also you can directly download it for example download the origin map or share online as well and also you can beautify them for example if you feel like it, it is fine but still lack of a contrast or level uh, you can control it in here yeah it, it can be uh, still available for the refine so after finish all this click complete and save so these are some of the functions and also if you want you can use the preset filters and save okay complete okay wait a moment yeah, now it's saving the result okay after that you can continually download or here you can up upgrade for example if the preset render is 2k is not enough you can update and then bring the higher resolution to the final result okay the same for the panorama you can see here we still can upgrade the resolution accordingly for 2k it's just uh, good enough for your personal using if you still want to show to clients, you'd better use the higher resolution.